Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little site here built with the free version of Elementor. We've got a little floating what's app button right there. If I roll down the site you can see it stays where it is. And obviously when you click on it it's going to take you to your WhatsApp page. Now, I don't actually have one but I'll show you how to add yours to your personal page when we put this together. Okay, well I've got this page open here. Let's just close out this one. I've got the page open in Elementor and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go ahead and delete our little WhatsApp floating button there. I've got a little empty section at the top here. Inside I'm just going to add the icon and this is available with the free version of Elementor as well as the Pro. Obviously this will work with both. As we're doing WhatsApp, let's add a WhatsApp type icon. And you can look through or you can just type in a search. There it is. And insert it in. There it is right there. You want to put your link in right here. Now I haven't got a page but if you want to link to your own page just simply put forward slash and then your number but you have to put your country code in there so for instance United States would be one and then the number um, for, and the UK would be 44 so whatever your country code is followed by the number but like I say, I haven't got one, so we'll go straight to the WhatsApp page. Okay, once you've put your link in there, as we're going to be linking to somebody else's site, it's a great idea to open it in a new window. That way your site stays open. If you're linking to your own site, I'd say leave that off. That way it's going to open in a new tab for us. Okay. Now in my section here, I'm using we go into the section, the little blue tab at the top. If we go over and look at the layout, I'm using a full width content, so it's stretching to the full width of the page. Okay, so if we go back into the little icon there, I'm going to align it to the left hand side. There it is right there. I'm going to go into my style. I'm going to give it a color more similar to the WhatsApp, which is usually green. You can actually copy the X code if you want to be exact, or just find a similar sort of green. I'm going to roll with that right there. Great. Well, at the moment, it's kind of where we want it, but when we roll up the page, it's going to disappear up at the top like that. And we want it to roll down the page with us. So let's go over to the advanced. And right at the top here, under layout, we're on the icon module itself. I'm going to change the position to fixed. Now it looks like it's disappeared, but it's actually under our little nav bar there. So we can change the vertical orientation with a bit of offset right here and bring it down to where we want. As you can see, as I'm doing that, it's bringing it down. That's fine. I'm going to change mine from PIX to VH, which is vertical height, and it's a percentage of the whatever screen size they're looking at. So let's take it to about there. And the horizontal, or maybe again, I'll just do that. And that's actually okay. I'm going to leave it as one viewable width, which is the full width of anything viewable. But let's just check it on responsive devices. So if you haven't got it open, I've got mine open here. I've got responsive mode. You can toggle it on and off down at the bottom by hitting the little icon and it'll switch on. Let's have a look at it on tablet and we can readjust it for tablet. That's actually okay. And as you can see, it's staying on top of everything. If you found it going behind something, you could increase what they call the Z index here. And give it a high number, that will keep it on top. If that image had a Z index of 10 and this has a Z index of 20, the thing with the higher value, the 20, will always appear on top of the one with the lower value there. 
So if you have a problem with it disappearing behind something, just up the Z index on it. So that's fine position wise, both on desktop. Let's have a look on mobile phone. And again, that's going to work for me on mobile fine phone too. Great. So let's flip back to desktop mode. And we're pretty much done with this. There's a warning there about custom positioning is not considered best practice for responsive web design, not be used too often. Well, we're not doing it too much here and we have checked it on our responsive devices, so it should work. If you find that it's not working on certain things, you can always hide it on, on different devices by going over to your advanced, roll on down to where it says responsive here, and you can hide it on tablet and mobile if you choose to and you can create a completely different version if you want to to have on tablet and mobile and hide it on the desktop but this seems to work absolutely fine for that okay well let's save our changes now we'll update and preview the changes and there's our little floating whatsapp button we did this recently with the Divi theme and somebody asked us if we could do it with Elementor. And there's your answer. It's simple, it really is. And when we click on it, let's close up the window we've got on there already. A new window will open up and go to WhatsApp. Just remember for the link purposes, if I go back to the page here, go into the little icon for the content, for the link, add a forward slash, we've got one in there, then your country code, and then your area code and then your number and that should take the visitors when they click on it to your personal page which is what you want so there you go guys I don't think that'll actually work with that number in there now let's take a look should have updated that should have updated that page for us Yeah, it's just taken us to that page with that updated number, which is a fictitious number. I apologize if that happens to be your number, but I was just putting in random numbers there. And you can chat with it that way. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a floating WhatsApp button and add it to your Elementor website. Really easy to do. Nice little feature to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.